Hey, thanks for clicking on my video and watching today. We're going to take a quick peek at creating a bill of material. This is Lance with Brando Consulting. So to, to create a bill of material in Fishbowl, you need to first make sure your license key includes the manufacturing portion of Fishbowl. Now, you may think that to create a bill of material, the best way to do that is to go to the bill of materials screen. I actually prefer going to the part screen to create a bill of material. It has a really cool feature there that enables you to quickly and easily start out on the right track. So there's this little button on the part screen, new bomb, click that baby. And we're here on the bill of materials screen and what that did for us is it automatically created a bill of materials name and a bill of materials description and automatically gave us a finished good. So I'm not paying attention to what parts I'm selecting. Obviously you will, but for the demonstration purposes of this video I won't. Next thing to do is click on this tiny little green plus sign right here. Click on that and recently Fishbowl came out with an awesome new feature. Absolutely love it. This batch add right here enables you to add multiple raw goods to the bill of material all one after another uh, quickly and easily. So I'll highlight that, click next, and notice though it says add finish good. So this is, is kind of rare, but some of my clients need multiple finished goods for one bill of material. I'll let you think of what those examples could be. So we're just going to click next in this example and add raw goods. So we enter the quantity of the raw good being added first, and then we look up the piece that we're adding. So we'll add that piece, um, add this piece. I'm just randomly selecting as you can tell, but you see how quickly and easily we can add to the bill of material. Now make sure you add labor. That's one of the best features of um, manufacturing. If, if you understand how it flows through to QuickBooks and you're comfortable with that and okay with that, then you definitely should take a look at um, adding labor to your bill's material. So we'll keep adding and add some more who knows what's on your recipe for what you're making um, but you can even create a new part from right here as well so I'll just add a couple of more things and we'll call that good click finish and voila there's our bill of material now you'll see a couple of um, options over here if we create if we add something to a bill of material that has a bill of material itself, then we can link it to this bill of material. Uh, let me throw an example on there real quick. I'll click add and we'll select another part that has its own bill of material. I think, I hope this does. And this is how you create multi-level bills of material. All right, so first build the bills material for the lower levels then you can link those lower levels to the upper level bills and material using the stage feature once I click stage after I click save I'll click save yeah it hasn't been assigned a class so uh, okay whatever stage here we go so now we have a multi-level bill of material and if this stage setting is set to auto create or create when short then when we add this bill of material to a work order it will also add the lower level stages to the work order as well this is an important thing to understand when you're creating a bill of material how do you want it to work for you are you a pull system or a push system do you create a work order when your customer orders or do you create work orders in advance in anticipation of orders? That's where this auto, these auto create settings come into play up here. If you only create work orders when a customer orders, 
or when an upper level work order demands it, then you should set it to build to order. A look at these other settings, take a look at the tool tip and read each one of these. They have a good explanation. Uh, if you need further explanation, give me a call. But um, that's how to create a bill of material in Fishbowl. Uh, thanks for joining us here at Brando Consulting, and I'll see you on the next video.